Hello everyone, today is going to be the first video in a series of four about LEGO Gears, and today I'm going to be teaching you about Spur Gears. So in today's video, as with every other video in the series, I'm going to be explaining what that gear family is, I'm going to show you all of the LEGO Gears that are in that gear family, and I'm going to show you some sample gear combinations of gears within that family. The gear I'm talking about this week is called the Spur Gear, and these are your typical gears that come to mind when somebody says the word gear. They're the simplest type of gear with straight cut teeth that go over a cylindrical body. They can only mesh in a straight line, that's when the shafts are parallel. There are no 90 degree connections on LEGO Spur Gears. That's because they have straight cut teeth. Here are all of the LEGO Gears that are in the Spur family in increasing order from left to right. So starting on the left we have the 8 tooth gear, the 16th tooth gear, the 16 tooth clutch gear, which I'll cover in my fourth video in the series, Specialty Gears. We have the 24 tooth gear, the 24 tooth clutch gear, which is a little bit different from the 16 tooth clutch gear. Again, I'll be uh, talking about that in my fourth video on specialty gears. And then finally, the largest gear all the way on the right is the 40 tooth gear. So now comes the fun part. I'm going to be talking to you about possible gear combinations that you can make with LEGO Spur gears. The cool thing about LEGO Spur gears is that they can all mesh with themselves to make one to one ratios whereas bevel gears, which I'll cover later, cannot just because of the way their size works out. So some examples of 1 to 1 spur gear ratios are 8 to 8, which takes up 2 studs of space, 16 to 16, which is 3 studs of space, 24 to 24, which is 4 studs of space, and finally 40 to 40, which is 6 studs of space. And keep in mind that these are all 1 to 1 ratios, so the input RPM is the same as the output RPM and there's no torque multiplication involved. And now for some other possible ratios with these gears. When you use a 24 tooth gear as the input gear and the 8 tooth gear as the output gear, you get a gear ratio of 1 to 3, and this consumes 3 studs of space. Next we have a 40 tooth gear as the input gear and a 24 tooth gear as the output gear. This gives us a gear ratio of 1 to 1.67, and this takes up 5 studs of space. Finally we have the largest gear, 40 tooth, as the input, and the smallest gear, 8 tooth, as the output. And this gives us a 1 to 5 ratio and takes up 4 studs of space. This is the tallest gear ratio that you can have with LEGO. Now keep in mind that any of the gear ratios I've just showed you can be flipped with the opposite gear uh, transmitting the power to the other gear. And doing this, of course, is also going to give you the inverse of whatever torque multiplication and RPM multiplication that you originally had. It's now just going to be in the opposite direction. And one final note is that gear ratios are reported as input RPM to output RPM. So a gear ratio of 1 to 3, as I've described before, that means one rotation of the input gear is going to ro rotate the output gear three times. And that's what that means. It's input RPM to output RPM. Thanks for watching my tutorial this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.